Well, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump, the great hero of the report from Tiger Mountain, we're, we're strong supporters here of the report, has been indicted for a second time. That's the topic of tonight's report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Yes, the great people's prince, Donald Trump over in America, has been indicted a second time. You know, the first one was by uh, Fat Alvin, obviously in New York, which is a state uh, matter uh, in relation to the Stormy Daniels nonsense. And this one is in relation to the files that Donald Trump took with him when he left the White House. Obviously, a president, to some extent, has a certain right to declassify documents. Obviously, he's the president. He can do what he likes. He declassified documents and took them with him. Every president has done this. Um, uh, every president. They can arrest every president under this charge, basically. Uh, even Joe Biden, some vice presidents have done it, and they found a whole pile of documents in the carport uh, behind his Corvette uh, of Joe Biden. So obviously, you know, this is yet another complete nonsense going on in America. And look, it just goes to show, um, you know, the, the extent to which the, the globalist cabal hates Donald Trump, which tells you, you know, he's obviously the guy to vote for in 2024. Um, you know, obviously there is, a, you know, the primaries are now running. You've got a few, uh, they're willing out a few of the uh, the old favourites um, you know, to run up against Trump. Um, obviously Ron DeSantis is the major competition um, and is the only person who I think could possibly uh, take the nomination from Trump, though I can't see it. Obviously my idea of a great ticket is probably um, Trump DeSantis. Uh, I think DeSantis will make a great vice president. Uh, I think it'll be a good balancing act between the two. So obviously that's, that's the ticket I'm hoping for. Uh, and obviously there's Chris Christie uh, and Mike Pence has even given it a go. And they've got this funny video of him running around on that. I mean, Pence does seem um, rather uh, fit for his age, you know, unlike um, obviously Joe Biden and to some extent Donald Trump, who seems to, uh, I mean, I think Donald Trump is pretty fit, but uh, seems to like maybe the Mac is a little bit too much at this quietly. But, um, you know, so that's what's going on at the moment. Uh, I think this charge I mean, obviously, it's the, obviously the first time in American history that this has happened to a former U.S. president. Um, this goes to show that, you know, Donald Trump really was a, a kind of wild card and it was somebody who was not from the deep state. And, you know, I mean, people like Andrew Tate and Russell, from Russell Brand and even Jordan Peterson have commented that, you know, it was his opposition to the war and also Tucker Carlson on his new show. It was, um, you know, Donald Trump's opposition to the globalist wars. Um, since September 11, um, and obviously the Ukraine war, um, you know, where he's not instantly taking the side of the corrupt Zelensky regime, um, you know, goes to show, I think that's the cardinal sin that Donald Trump is committing, because uh, everybody in Washington makes so much money from these wars, and all the various corrupt agencies and lobbyists, they make so much money from these trillion dollar wars, that, um, you know, this is, I think, where the huge animus comes against Trump, because he wanted to extract America from all these globalist wars, and also make um, the various countries in the various regions pay for their own um, self-defense and not have America uh, fit the bill, uh, which all makes common sense, which all is um, you know, a strong nationalist uh, economic position. Obviously, someone like Steve Bannon, um, you know, advised Trump to do this. And I think Trump uh, has thought of it himself as well. So, you know, this is, I think, the battleground. My opinion is, is these indictments won't hold water, that, you know, the election will go ahead next year. And uh, my hope is Donald Trump win. So, in my opinion, Donald Trump won the last election in 2020, and obviously um, they rigged that. So, will they just do that again? You know, I mean, I think they'll try, but they won't have a pandemic around um, to make it a lot easier in relation to things like mail-in votes. So, maybe they won't get away with it this time, and I don't know, maybe, um, you know, with the Republican-controlled Congress, they will be able to um, stop the rigging um, to some extent. So, we keep our fingers crossed for an honest election in 2024. I don't think this uh, indictment from Donald Trump, the second indictment, will hold, nor will the one in New York from Fat Alvin. So that's my opinion here at the report from Tiger Mountain. I think it's all bullshit and it's election interference. And, um, you know, the last Joe um, to, uh, you know, arrest his opponents uh, in, in political elections was Joe Stalin. So Joe Biden is within a uh, steam company, ladies and gentlemen, and it goes to show just how the far left is heading straight towards communism. And that's all I've got to say uh, on the report from Tiger Mountain this week. Cheers.